Hi everybody, welcome back to the Bolt Hole Biker and to the second in my short series of test rides that I'm making in order to determine whether any of the bikes that I'm test riding could potentially be a replacement for my beloved Duke 790. So this test ride is the BMW GS basically, the, the, um, the R1250 GS. Often touted as the best bike in the world by people that own them and often maligned by people that don't own them but I've heard it said on a number of occasions don't knock it until you tried it and you don't know how good a GS is until you ride one so here we go I'm gonna ride one let's see what we think so here we go I'm gonna ride one watch on to see what I think Okay, part two, we're on the GS, I'm on the rally version, it's got Akrapovich, Encan, which sounds our eat. it's just got a short screen on it, it's in the rally colours, keyless, same as the um, S1000XR so whilst it's here let's see what it's like to manoeuvre around because it's a big lump actually that's not too bad to move about because it is a big bike so I'll give it a tick on that front you've got decent handle grips and whatever okay let's go it's actually lower than the XR. I've got the balls of my feet down, which is very comfortable for me. I'm not used to getting more than the balls of my feet down on a bike. Now, when that fires into life, you get a proper boom, side to side jerk where the uh, boxer engine kicks in. I actually quite like that. <laughs> oh, that'd be the old stand then. That old chestnut. That old chestnut. Okay, decent. Oh, I noticed this one has definitely got USB there. I couldn't see that on the XR. Bit of an awkward spot for it, but there's a USB. Right, let's go. As with the XR, it's got all the kit, and you know it's going to work fine. This isn't a review of the bike itself for its kit, etc. This is this is a ride to see if I like the ride and I like the feel of the bike with a view to buying one. So the big question for this one is, am I going to be one of these people that is won over by the GS by giving it a ride? I've only been on this one literally less than five minutes, uh, 50 mile an hour. Well, here we go. There's an opportunity to use the uh, cruise control. Nicely switched over easily, put into cruise. That's it. Hand off. I am a passenger. I am a passenger. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to go underneath the River Tyne. Give it a bit of a wrap. It all sounds quite nice. It's, it's quite a loud bike actually, quite a loud, loud pipe anyway. The spread of light that I can see on the side walls of the tunnel give me an indication as to what it would be like at night. It's um, That's a really wide spread of, um, of light. My expectation was, because fr from the outside, the GS looks like a, a massive bike. It's got a big front to it. But once you're on it, it doesn't actually feel that big at all. I don't know whether this is just because it's the rally version or whether it's not got certain kit on it that others do, but it's um, there's a there's a nice presence. I mean, I'm used to a naked bike where there's virtually nothing in front of you. You're kind of just almost floating on a magic carpet. 
apart from the fact you can just about see the screen but so this does have a bit of presence to it so when you're stationary the, the weight's much lower on this bike than uh, than it was on the XR because of the um, I suppose because of the boxer engine wait for green light single file on it lovely thank you very much it's light to ride I wouldn't mind getting it on a bit of a twisty road actually see what that's like and we're gonna have the opportunity now to open it up a bit because we're just about to go onto the A1 I think A19 that'll do dual carriageway anyway 50 miles an hour swine I am not sure if I like the look of a GS or not I've always thought that they are I'm gonna say the word but I will explain myself slightly ugly they look like they just look like everything's been bolted onto them they're like a, a Swiss army knife with all the blades out conversely that's kind of the opposite to how I feel about Multistradas. I always think of a Multistrada as being like a Swiss Army knife with all the blades in. So they're all in there, it's all usable, but it looks nice and neat and sleek and tidy. Whereas the GS kind of looks a bit, it looks like a Transformer. It's Optimus Prime. You almost expect it to sort of fold out and run away on legs. That, that's how I see the GS. But I was looking at them in the showroom and I could I learn to love the look of the GS? The looks certainly don't get my heart racing, put it that way. I much prefer the character of the twin engine than the uh, inline four of the XR right hand indicator click lovely oh i've not tried the quick shift it's probably going a bit slow there but that blip lovely and that did there we go it's really stable and it's nice and pokey that's what i missed on the xr all the powers up the top end on the xr Whereas this is lovely and pokey, right from the, right from the word go. Let's have a look what it's like. It. Quick shift. Quick shift. Quick shift. Fast bike as well. I have to say that getting from zero to naughty speeds. To me, seems much quicker on the GS than on the XR. This is this is pokey and instant. I mean, if I give that a little bit of a twist, it jumps. There you go. It leaps forward. Very nice. It's a pity that I'm on a bike that doesn't have the uh, bigger screen because that was one of the things that is, that's one of the things that's on my list of things that I would like, and that is a bit of wind and weather protection at the front end of the bike right this is dynamic now so I think this not only changes the actual throttle response etc but I think that makes a difference to the suspension it stiffens up the suspension etc because you've got semi-active suspension on here Let's have a go I'm on a bit of a back B road now. I'm hoping it's got a few twists on it. I'm also hoping it doesn't have a lorry on it in front of me, which at the moment it does. See if I can see around there. Oh, I'm not risking that. Oh, look, I've got some twists. And I'm behind a bloody lorry. Let's see if I can get around him. I would have gone then, but there's a railway line. Ah, oh, he's going anyway. That's all right then. Okay, I'm going to have a little blap up this road because this could be a nice little road. Now that low speed, I'm at walking pace now. First gear, completely stable. 
Right. That really does pick up, I'll give it that. That really does pick up. Probably, probably faster than the Duke actually. As it should be, it's got a bloody load more horsepower, etc. But, see what it's like when we get into some bends. There we go, this is starting to get a bit twisty. Auto blipper's brilliant. The road kill. Punches nicely out the bends. Feckin' tractor, would you believe it? Coming through with my own tractor fellow. Brakes are good. Brakes are very good because I thought the road went up there and it went around there. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it its due actually. That, that's hustling around quite nicely in these twisties. I mean, that's lent over nicely, punching out the corner, great. Here we go. Let's see what I like for brake, brake in a second. I didn't expect that. It's maybe not quite as nimble, but it's not far off being as nimble in the twisties as the Duke, and it is very quick. Very quick. Right, I'm just going to do a Yui here because I want to go. Back. Oh, let's see what it's like for a U-turn. Feet up U-turn. Here we go. Oh my word! That's bonkers. Do you know what? This has got the ride. This has got the ride quality that I wasn't wanting to give up. You swines, BMW. This this is a nice bike in the twisties. So it's upright, everything feels like it's where it should be. I don't like the look of the boxer engine. What the hell is that sticking out? It's like two massive cancers sticking out the side of the bike. But, it does mean that it's got all this weight down low and it's got all that lovely punchy power. And that is quite nice. I mean, that's very flickable. Very flickable. You're not going to scrape the... Uh, how far have you got to go before you scrape the boxer engine? I think you can go fairly low. wee -hee! Well, I wasn't wee -hee in on the... Uh, on the XR. But I'm wee -hee in on the GS. wee -hee! <laughs> That's a quick bike. I like it. I also need to stop going that quick, otherwise I'm going to end up with no license. Yay! I just want to see what it can do. And I found that out now, so stop it, Steven, stop it, stop it. Ride sensibly, you're on a GS. Brakes, brilliant. Brakes are brilliant. These, um, it's the first time I've ridden with these BMW brakes today on the, the XR and the uh, GS. The BMW brakes are easily as good as my the Brembo's that I've got on my uh, Bruxton. They are outstandingly good brakes. Really, really decent bite and really responsive. The bite that you get on the discs is exactly what you would expect it to be given the amount that you pull on the lever. It's just really, uh, really nice. Because you've got the mixture of the ride quality that I've got with the Duke. That's what I don't want to do away with. And it's got that, great. But in addition to that, it's got all the creature comforts that I want. So on this front, my conclusion on the GS, 
and I didn't expect to be saying this, I'm perfectly honest with you, my conclusion on the GS is that it is actually a bloody great bike. There's not really anything apart from the look that, that don't uh, tick the boxes. All the other boxes that I had, it kind of ticks. Well, that's my conclusion on the GS. I actually quite like it, which I didn't expect. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to have the, the sort of flickable ride characteristics that I have with the Duke that I don't want to give up. And actually, it has. Tomorrow, I'm test riding both Ducati Multistradas, the 950 and the V4S. And they're going to have to be pretty good to beat this, I have to say. I need to, I need to get off this bike and stand back, well not this one, a triple black, and see if I can get away with the looks of it, because I am kind of sold on the ride. Yeah, it's definitely a bike I want to keep riding. And so there you have it. I am one of those people who's been won over by the GS. I have to say, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do have to say, that is one hell of a bike. That is still in the yes pile. I'm riding the Multistradas tomorrow. First I'm riding the 950S and then the V4S, the big daddy with the radar control. But of the two bikes that I've ridden so far, the BMW S1000 XR is crossed off the list. That's not for me. The GS is still on the list. I could own that bike. I could own that bike. And the ride is at least as good as the 790. So well done BMW. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Tune in again tomorrow for the test ride on the 950S Multistrada. But in the meantime, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.